Back in 98, when all the car makers in India were going gaga over budget hatchbacks, Honda, the Japanese car maker, decided to enter India with the Honda City, a premium sedan. 22 years down the line, when the automakers are all about SUVs, Honda has decided to launch the fifth generation of City. But the things are rather different now. You see, the Honda City is now the most trustworthy and reliable brand of India. And on the top of that, Honda says that the fifth generation City is also bigger and better. Now we were supposed to review this car back in March, but then the lockdown happened. Anyways, we are back again reviewing the cars and it is time to see if the Honda City was worth all this wait. The biggest USP of the new city is the fact that the design changes are subtle yet elevates the overall profile. Up front is the new trademark Honda design language, adding a large thick chrome grille called the solid wing face, giving it the accord inspired look. The highlight though is the beautifully crafted LED headlamps with 9 LED arrays that make the face look aggressive and yet attractive. The sides now get sharper lines. At the rear are the large wraparound tail lights that make the city look posh even from behind. Now in my honest opinion, the mid-size sedan category is slowly losing the interest among the youth and only the office-going executives who like to be chauffeur-driven wants to own such a sedan. And this is where Honda City excels. You see, without going over the top, Honda has maintained the niche in terms of the overall design. Not just the design, but Honda has tweaked the dimensions too and the new city is both longer and wider than the outgoing model. Moving inside, the first thing you notice is the spacious cabin with the sense of airiness thanks to the interesting use of color combination. And the spacious cabin is not just a feeling, but you actually get a lot of space inside the cabin, be it in the front seats or the back seats, where I am assuming a lot of people would want to sit. The legroom at the rear is generous to say the least. Even the seats are comfortable with enough cushioning and thigh support to make you feel at home. The boot space is 506 liters and is deep enough for big bags. As for the console design, the Honda engineers and designers deserve a pat on their back. The new city's central console layout is classy, attractive, functional and most importantly has impeccable fit and finish. You get an 8 inch system with a neat layout, rotary knobs for aircon unit and vertically stacked AC vents. Even the instrument panel with 7 inch TFT display is designed to excite the driver inside you. And then there is an exhaustive feature list, few of which are particularly of my liking. Now we are shooting this car in the peak of Delhi summer and one of the functions that I like amidst all the gimmicks that a connected technology has to offer is that you can remotely switch on the AC and thanks to Honda Connect, I'll just show you how. Now you have to remember it'll take some time and also since you have to switch on the AC, the engine will start and that is why this function is only available in the cars with the automatic gearbox. Not just the Honda Connect, Honda has also partnered with Amazon to offer Alexa support for its connected technology. But then, you will have to operate all these functions using voice commands, which you have to learn and for me, it is a tedious job. I prefer the simple apps like the Honda Connect which gets 32 connected features. Honda City also gets a sunroof, rear sunshade, ambient light among others in terms of features. Now Honda is offering the all new 5th generation city with two engine options, a 1.5 litre petrol and a 1.5 litre diesel. The one we are driving today is the petrol motor with a claim mileage of 17.8 km to a litre in the manual transmission and 18.4 km to a litre in the CVT transmission. On the other hand, the diesel motor gets a claim mileage of 24.1 km to a litre. The power output in the petrol motor is 121 PS and 145 Nm. The diesel engine on the other hand 
gets 100 PS and 200 Nm of output. While the petrol engine gets a 6-speed manual and a CVT gearbox, the diesel only gets a manual unit. Now that we are done with the numbers, here's what I feel after driving the city in one word. Flabbergasted. Now you see, we journalists have been driving so many SUVs of late, it seems like I forgot the fun of driving sedans. And on the top of that, the new 1.5 litre petrol engine was a delight to drive around the smooth roads of Noida. The engine is smooth, refined and amply powerful. Not just the engine and gearbox, the overall vehicle dynamics work in the favour of Honda City to give you a pleasurable driving experience. Right from the chunky steering wheel which is equally good to hold and offers precision handling to the planted ride thanks to the suspension setup. Even the NVH levels, barring the few movements when you are trying to accelerate the CVT equipped model too hard, are massively defined. However, if I have to point out at a couple of negatives, it has to be the brakes which could have been better and the very fact that you are driving a sedan reduces the confidence in terms of ground clearance when you are going over the speed breakers or through bad patch of road. Also, the suspension was on a bit of stiffer side as I felt a lot of potholes inside the car. And lastly, the safety tech in the Honda City. Honda has clearly raised the bar with the set of safety equipments they are offering and that too apart from the Honda Connect with a lot of virtual safety tech. Just so you know, the new Honda City is ASEAN 5 star safety rated car thanks to the technology like blind spot detector or lane watch with live feed using a side camera on the screen, multi view rear parking camera, vehicle stability assist, and six airbags, among others. So, what I like about the new Honda City is the fact that it combines the space of the Honda Civic, somewhat design of the Honda Accord, and then the brand name and the price of the Honda City itself, essentially combining the best of all the worlds. So if you are in the market looking for a value for money classy car that makes a sense in the world of SUVs, then look no further than the Honda City.